All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoker. And check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Definitely subscribe here on uh, YouTube. So today we are back in uh, Tableau. And so I'm working out of uh, version 2018.3.1. It has this new uh, set action functionality. And so I just released a video showing you how to uh, drill uh, on mark selection. And so that video is still very valid. Check it out. But this new set action functionality makes things uh, a little bit easier, right? So you can use this set action functionality to uh, to drill into your data. So I like to always show the default drill functionality in Tableau first. So I've got some NBA data, and as you can see, uh, the hierarchy. Um, there's a conference, there's a division, there's team, and then there's uh, the player name. So default functionality, let's say I just wanted to see who's in the West. Well, I can't do that. I have to click the plus here, and it shows me who's in the East and the West. If I just want to see who's in the Pacific Division, I, I can't do that, right? I have to hit the plus up here, and if I want to, you know, again, I want to see Golden State, um, I, I click my plus on team, and I lose track of where uh, Golden State is. They're, they're out, of the, uh, out of the picture here. I have to hunt them down. So not ideal. This is the fault drill functionality, what we want using set actions. Uh, we want this functionality. We want asymmetric drill functionality. What that means is when I click on uh, east, right, only, uh, uh, so my divisions opened up uh, only in the east, not in the west. If I click on, uh, let's say, southeast, right, all my teams appear, I can click on Atlanta, boom, and I only get that one team right? Uh, everything doesn't open. It keeps it front and center. And I can also use the same technique here for uh, a hierarchy drill. So if I, you know, I can drill in so on and so forth here. Let me, let me take it back up. If I wanted to go, uh, yeah, so on the west, boom, shows me my northwest, pacific, and southwest divisions. If I go in here on pacific, I drill down further. I can take a look at uh, Golden State. I can see that there are 3.56% of points uh, overall points scored in the league. I can drill in further. Boom. Uh, I can see the players here on uh, on Golden State. Kevin Durant being the biggest chunk. So you can also do this for tree maps. So so how do we how do we get started here? So all you have to do is you start with a set, then a calculated field, then a, then an action. Right. Set calculated field action. Right. So let's start by creating a set. We're going to have it based off of conference. I'm going to go in here and we're going to create a set, right? And let's name the set uh, conference set for lack of uh, anything else inspiring. Conference set, doesn't matter what I select. I just know it's based off of the conference field. We're going to say, OK, I've got my conference set. Now I need to create a calculated field, right? So this calculated field, we're going to name it uh, drill one because I'm this is the first drilling action, drill one. Uh, it's also known as a division because it's going to show us a division. So all this is saying is uh, for every conference that I select, right, if, if I select a conference and it's in the set, then show division, right? Otherwise, just show the conference. We're going to say OK, and I'm going to bring that over. Nothing is going to happen yet. Let me uh, widen this a little bit. Nothing's going to happen yet because I don't have a set action. Remember, I said set, calculated field, and then action, right? So now if I go up here to actions, I'm going to add an action. Notice that I have a change set values option now, right? I'm going to change set values. And uh, this set action, we're going to name this uh, drill to division. That's the name of my set action on select. Uh, I only have this data set here, and it's going to work on the conference set. When I clear the selection, I want to remove all values from the set, right? So I select OK. OK, and I have that. Now when I come in here, let's see, click West, boom, right? I've drilled it, Northwest Pacific and uh, Southwest, right? And, and then I can, uh, I can bring it back up. So, so that's great. So all we have to do, again, rinse and repeat, set calculated field and set action. So now what I want to do, I want to create another set uh, named division set. So I, I don't want to base that off of the raw dimension division. I want to base that off of my calculated field, my drill calculated field that I created. Save yourself an hour of, uh, 
of troubleshooting uh, like I did. You're going to base it off of your uh, your drill uh, dimension here, calculated field. So uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a set. All right. It's based off a of drill one division. And then the name of this set, we're going to call it division set. All right. Say OK. It's based off of the drill one division. OK, looking good. We've got our set. Now we need our calculated field. Let's create the calculated field. And then I'm just going to copy this in. I'm going to call it, this is going to allow us to drill into team, right? So if I say drill um, to, well, drill to team, <laughs> right? So for every division that I select, uh, just show the team associated with that division. Otherwise, just show blank, right? Say OK. Now I can bring that up here, but I don't have an action yet, right? I'm missing that third part, an action. So I'm going to go back in here. We're going to create an action, add action, um, change set values, and we're going to name this action uh, drill to team. On select, right? It's my target. It's my only data set. And then that is going to be based off of the division set. I'm going to remove all values from the set once I uh, clear the selection. I say OK. So now when I click on, say, West, and let's say Southwest, boom, I got teams now. That's great. All right? I can double check that. Golden State shows up perfect. Now the last step, I want to show uh, players, right? So again, rinse and repeat, set calculated field and uh, set action. So for the last time here, I'm going to create another set. And again, it's going to be based off of my my drill team here, right? So here, let me well, let me let me do this first. If we're going to uh, use the same format, all right. So drill to team, and I'm going to create a set, right? And we're going to call this set. Um, uh, team team set right say okay it's based off of uh, drill uh, to team right say okay so now I have a team set and so I'm just gonna copy this in what do we need now we need a calculated field so create a calculated field I'm gonna copy this in here and we're gonna name it drill three um, player name right oops not division set right <clears throat> so what I've said is if you've selected the team the division and the team then show the player otherwise show nothing right so here let's see how that works drill three player name so when I drag drill three player name up here Obviously, nothing's going to happen because I don't have my action yet, right? So, worksheet action. Let's add an action. Uh, change set values here. Boom. On select, we're going to name this uh, drill to player name. Boom. And that's going to be based off of the, uh, uh, the team set. Let's do that. Uh, and okay we've got that target sheet set division and we want to remove all values from the set say okay all right so now let's take a look at this if I if I drill in a little further here uh, let's get the Pacific I've got Golden State and does that work there we go uh, and then I can I can sort that so as you can see boom we have our asymmetric drill I can go up here to the east and the southeast take a look at Atlanta Boom. Uh, Dennis Schroeder's not here anymore, but you can see that he scored the most amount of points for Atlanta last season. So this is real simple. So if I were to do, let's duplicate this, right? And I can change this to a tree map. Boom. Right? And I want to make sure that I get my, right, we've got our conference, drill one and drill two. So let's say, Right, that brings me back up. I've got east and west here, as you can see. I can drill in on the west. Uh, perfect. Uh, let's keep it in the Pacific. Right, I see Golden State. And then, boom, 
Kevin Durant, all of that, all of that allows me to uh, to break down. What I want to do, uh, let's do this real quick. I can change this to, let's change that to sum. Let's change this to sum as well, right? And then I can take some points and throw that on the label. Uh, oops, no, let's not do that. Let's just keep it like this. That's fine. And so you can see I've got this nice, the nice breakdown here. Bring it back up west. Zoom in here. I can see Golden State. So again, real easy to turn into a tree map uh, breakdown as well. So uh, using set actions here, very powerful new addition to Tableau. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tip. This has been Anthony Smoke. Take this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.